the night before moving. Kind of, sort of packed, decently enough. Giovanna did pretty much all the packing uh, throughout the week. This room kind of looks how it typically does a mess. Then out here, have everything slowly getting into boxes. Boxes. Some boxes, some not. Giant sleeping bag. Yeah. Currently headed to the title company. To sign all of our papers and whatnot. Giovanna's ahead of me. And then after that, we're probably gonna run over to the house first. And we have a few things in the back already. And uh, just gonna drop that off, then go to the U-Haul place, pick up a truck um, or moving van or whatever. And then head back to the apartment and start loading things up. Uh, we're supposed to be getting all of our appliances and whatnot sometime between 10.15 and 12.15. Fortunately, we can track it. We can track it online. So that's nice. Um, sorry, I had the window open. But uh, so we should be able to see when they're coming. So then Giovanna can run over there at least if we're not done packing and then I can keep packing and she can make sure all that stuff gets done. So that's the plan. We are now inside the 17 foot basically rattle can from the way this thing drives in the U-Haul. We got our pro driver here. Well, we have the majority of things moved in. Some stuff's upstairs and whatnot. Just dropped off the U-Haul. Took the dishwasher out so that we could put the new one in. Didn't realize how much water would be inside these hoses. There was a lot. We are now going to attempt to paint this wall. First time really painting a wall accurately for me. Going to try trimming. Try not to paint the ceiling and everything. See how it turns out. So we're done painting this wall. It is 10, I don't know. 10.49. 10.49. What a nightmare painting is. I don't wish it on my worst enemy. Yeah, it is dry. I'm still wet. Well, and decided not to paint the house. Yeah. So painted this wall, this green color. I'm gonna be painting the pantry doors back over there, a blue color. been a long day. <laughs> we have the pantry doors painted, so they're drying. Now I need to stain all of this stuff. All of it. So that'll be fun. And Giovanna is unpacking upstairs and vacuuming, I heard. Yes. So Giovanna can show you upstairs. Those are the tables shelves, miscellaneous things that we finished earlier this week. And there are a lot less boxes. That corner is decor stuff, so those will have to stay. These are two appliances that we have yet to unpack. All these are empty. Pendulants. 
pan, and then most of the kitchen's unpacked. Um, most of our stuff was in here. So it's all coming together. Oh, and then there's the wall. Yeah, he ventured down pretty fast. Just sniffing around. Little gray is, oh, finally coming down. Hey, gray. Yeah. She's not very used to stairs. So I have the new dishwasher here. Had to go buy some parts for it. This and uh, electrical cord. Because apparently you have to uh, hardwire it in. And Yuki just wants attention. Got some new pots and pans. Pretty fancy. Supposedly they work really well with gas, which is why we got them. But they have like uh, fins that uh, help it just basically heat up and disperse it evenly. You gotta rehook up your water line, and after that, obviously connect it to the dishwasher. And you gotta turn this back on so it can flow. And then this is the drain. Drain. Um, whatever it's called. I guess drain. And then I have this bad boy to connect or tighten it down. Pro tip. Be sure to put this bad boy on before you put the hose on, otherwise you're going to end up taking it off again. Put it back on. Well, turns on. You did it! Brilliant! <laughs> so, interesting, <laughs> interesting thing that I did not know about dishwashers. A lot. Well, I didn't know a lot of things about dishwashers, <laughs> but is they all have this insulation on them, and I don't know if it's to reduce heat going to like cabinets and stuff or what. But they all have insulation on them. So comment down below if you know why. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I have no. Could look it up. I guess looked up a bunch of other stuff with dishwashers, but yeah, no clue. I got a 14 inch size pan, order it. Also, you know, same thing with the thin things or whatever. 14 inches. It is a lot bigger than I thought 14 inches was. We don't need our wonk anymore. Sharana keeps calling our wok a wonk. Wow. <laughs> this bad boy picked up at the, where was it at? Goodwill for four bucks. Dinner and a movie tonight, since don't still don't have chairs. With some lemonade, of course. Joanna made some fried rice with egg and mushrooms and carrots. Yep. Yes. And, and water chestnuts. And water chestnuts and rice and turkey meat. And I'm gonna eat mine with Pile of chips. Tortilla chips. And mine is exactly like hers, except it has sweet potato fries on it, and then it's covered in cheese. So, yeah. So we are redoing the wall. Right. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Like there. There's an imperfection. So now I gotta paint the whole wall again to blend it in. So that's what we're done. And then the other the other thing is plan on putting in the ceiling fans today. The microwave. Doors are done. Today. The doors are done, they're not up. And then I just 
sealed all of the wood in the garage. Uh, so that's for night tables, night nightstands. Oh, the chairs got the chairs. Here are the chairs. Thought the backs would be a little bit higher, but it's all right. And I think we ordered two other chairs for over here. Yeah, did we? Okay. Yes, we did. And then we'll get those bad boys back on. Gonna try to install the ceiling fan. I'll put it together, then install it. Be sure to turn the power off. Mm -hmm. Ceiling fan in. Only took us two, two hours. hours. Painful two hours. <laughs> now we're gonna try to take the microwave out. Got our safety pillow. In case it falls. Made sure those are turned off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Update, <laughs> got the microwave out. It is definitely a four person job and all we had is a cat, Giovanna and I. Oh, <laughs> microwaves are heavy. And that's the one over there that we're putting in. Oh yeah, look at this really cool little pitcher that goes in the fridge. It's just little. It's like good for like probably like four glasses. And you can put like fruit and stuff in it. And then you put it back in. And it has its own little dedicated slot. And after you close the fridge, it auto fills itself back up. <laughs> <laughs> Got Giovanna over here, hard at work, putting some nightstands together. This got misfeasing. Yeah, all Sorry the buy new knobs. <laughs> all the knobs uh, failed to get stained because didn't realize that they were in there. So Joanna suggested perhaps just getting some uh, metal knobs on them instead of wood. So we may do that, uh, or we may just stain these, I guess. Not so expensive, a couple dollars each. Hmm. Yeah, and that'll look nice. It will look nice. So we are getting metal knobs. We're now, we're now going to be installing the pendants for up here. So one, get your electrical assemblies. And depending on your wire, in this case, uh, this is different cordage that I picked up, actually from work, because well, it looks nicer. But you gotta get a razor blade to Cut open the sheath, and you got all your wires in here. Then you're gonna end up wiring this. Into the J box up there. And then if all things go well, they look nice. So I have all of these ready to go. There's actually two sets of cables in there, two there, and one there. So I believe this is wired in parallel, um, meaning the blacks have to go together and then it sends the current in and out, in and out, and then ends there. Same with the neutrals, do the same thing together. Boom, boom, boom. And then the grounds also. Uh, have grounds on all these, so you can shoot them over. When I said that they should be hung in parallel, I was correct, but you know, always a good idea to call an electrician. So uh, I called Chris Seifert just to make sure I was doing everything right. Put me on the right path. I mean, I was, but he assured me I was on the right path. Gave little tips and tricks, but uh, yeah, so. Here they are, and they're on a dimmer, so we can up and down. And Giovanna's happy. And those are done. 
And those nightstands are done. Aside from the knobs. Aside from the knobs, yes. Trying to unpack the decor. Crystal, just just want you to see for your kids. The T Rex made the move. <laughs> But I'm going up here to install the ceiling fan. I can turn my phone. 7.30. So it's 7.30. Got the other fan up. It took... Like two hours? Again. Again, two hours. At least I'm consistent. So we we installed the ginormous TV and made this TV stand. Floating TV stand. That only took two hours to friggin' get on the wall and everything, measure and remeasure and quadruple measure. This nightmare only took about, you know, six. So that was fun. Um, yeah, that was fun. Got this piece of wood on the wall. Kind of looks like a seashell, which goes nicely with this monstros monstrosity of a whatever it is face neither of us knew why we liked it we both thought it was ugly but we both liked it so we got it Giovanna marked the wall where the intent of putting the boards are these are the boards that we bought, which are 12 feet long. So, a little bit longer than the truck. Um, plan is to stain these. So we figured an easier way would be to lift the boards up over the balcony and then bring them in the door this way. Worked pretty smooth, so. Maybe it was the easier way. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. So it's 8.30. Dog. We have all the dogs barking in the neighborhood since we're cutting with a miter saw outside. Um, so the war zone, um, those had to be up. Some of these had to be on the wall to measure and some didn't and there's boards everywhere that are cut. We have one whole extra board and it only took this many screw ups of different boards. Most of, most of, only one of these is a screw up, Kelly. Oh, only one of these is a screw up. Only one Yeah, screw that's up. what I said. I only messed up one time. That's it. And... Yeah. There just weren't a lot of short boards. Yeah, there's not a lot of short boards, but... See, that's the gross thing I was telling you about. Oh, there's a bug in here. Gray has killed a fly since we've had to have this door open. And now, maybe she'll get this thing. Well, we have spent the morning sanding down the boards, wiping off the dust, and now killing and staining them. And it's almost done. So here is... Almost all of the boards stink. And the wall is complete. Breakfast of Gonna go for a hike. <laughs> Breakfast of champions, according to Giovanna. A thick slice of summer sausage that she almost <laughs> dropped on the floor. <laughs> change up here. It's beginning to look like fall. So we're 
on a trail. Sunset Peaks to Brighton, or Sunset Peak past Brighton Lakes, I don't know. It was something. And uh, it's kind of busy. You know, we've, there's a couple groups behind us and a couple groups ahead of us. And it's 8.15. Took us about 40 minutes to get here. Um, we actually tried to do this trail last winter because we planned on doing a trail and then we realized once we got here it was at a ski resort as you can see still a running ski resort so we weren't going to walk straight up the slopes where people are skiing down and so we ended up doing a different trail didn't miss, didn't make that mistake again but now we're here back again to do said trail we're approaching the first lake, and it looks like it's dammed up to form it. It's called Lake Mary. So I guess we'll check it out once we get through all this stuff. So we are at the first lake. Killian once again picked out the trail, so I didn't really know um, what to expect, but it's a much bigger lake than I thought it was going to be, so pleasantly surprised on that. This is definitely the bigger of the two that we'll be going by, but it's very pretty. Water is quite clear. You can't swim in it though. Well, they say you're not supposed to swim in it. So, it's a watershed where this goes, whatever, for people. Still pretty smoky yeah. from all the fires, hence the red sun this morning, and then the haze here. Here's another lake, no idea what it's called. Some guy fishing in it, so I assume it has fish. There's two of them. Two people fishing? The guy straight across oh, the street. Oh, yeah. And that guy. Had three people. Man. Water's getting low. Fish are hungry. Perfect time. Though we are a little bit off the trail that we're supposed to be on. Up there on the ridge. Is where we intended on being. But instead we're down here. So, instead of backtracking and going back around. We're just gonna go where the crow flies. So here's where we're at. And you can't see it, but there's a peak up yonder. And it's gonna be pretty steep. So slow just about, yeah, slow and steady, <laughs> just about to go to the summit here. We're told it is very windy, and I was just up there for a brief moment, but I want Giovanna to experience, keep going. It keeps getting... Oh, there's a nice lull. Oh yeah. So we're... Just shy of 11,000 feet. I don't know how much it's picking up on my voice. I'm screaming right behind the GoPro, so. 
there was the first lake, second lake, third lake. Quite windy up here. And still very, very smoky. Went off the trail so Giovanna could go pee. And farther down, there's this cool looking rock. For all the years, the wild man has been out here, been marking this stone. His home is somewhere nearby. So we're on our way back down and uh, we're taking this trail. It's not marked, but I mean, any trail that leads down is a trail that works for us. The other trails actually go that way and come around. So we're going this way. There'll be less people and uh, I don't know, it's an adventure. <laughs> 